Hey guys, what up? Currently 10.31 p.m. I'm actually heading to bed. Um, but I'm starting my next vlog and I start school tomorrow, so yeah. Let's go, school year! Hey. Made him paranoid and, and even screwier than usual. Okay, but so there was drama have, like, of some kind all weekend up. that mm -hmm. I barely remember and chose to stay away from as much as possible. Wall. Uh, but I did see, Over here. and there was no so promos cut or everybody, you good. know, advertising of anything mm -hmm. or whatever, sure, but when Shawn really Michaels got in the ring with Steve Austin yeah. and Mike Tyson was the referee, there was still sure. enough doubt in some people's mind that he was either going to do the right thing or do it the right way that Undertaker yes. cool um anyway I'm ready for my first day of school orientation basically what the program's going to be like and what we're going to do we're going to meet our teachers so I'm pretty excited about that anyway I'm wearing track pants full baby this Tommy Hilfiger shirt very simple, very comfortable. Why the hell not? Francisco, I mean, Portland and San Francisco mm -hmm. were angle driven. Um, you know, there was a, a more violent style in the ring in Vancouver. As well as your car. What about original parts? Will they use them? Whatever the hell you want. But jumping ship in 1996 from WWE to WCW, he joined the NWO almost instantly so he could be alongside his best friend Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. It was a big deal at the time because no one was hotter than this group and he was only the sixth entrant in, hence his new name Six. It was spelled on track negotiations anyway. Either way, it did send a message to the locker room, although clearly nobody listened. From this point to its demise in 2001, his only taste of WWE gold, defeating Kane for the IC strap on an episode of SmackDown in 2001 with the title, so let's move on immediately. Number 58, Diesel. After a massive showing at the 1994 Royal Rumble, Diesel was being primed as the next big thing. His first step up the roster came by defeating Razor Ramon for the IC title on an episode of Superstars in April 1994 with help from partner Shawn Michaels. Diesel's reign was pretty uneventful in terms of title defences, with Big Daddy Cool instead going after Bret Hart's WWE Championship in a losing effort at King of the Ring. Not to be deterred, Diesel and Michaels picked up the tag titles from the Head Shrinkers, making Diesel a double champion. Not bad considering he'd been on the main roster for only 10 months. Diesel's double champ status only lasted one night, as after winning the tag titles, Big Daddy Cool dropped the IC title back to Razor at SummerSlam. The click is running wild, brother. Number 57, Roman Reigns. The Big Dog is a one-time Intercontinental Champion in his quest to become the winningest wrestler of all time. Okay, maybe that's a bit I'm gonna edit and I will see you guys soon. I still haven't put it up yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on putting things together, all the things, we're gonna throw those out. Be a peacemaker here and love so peace. I will see you later.